Hey, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you all are doing fantastic. If you guys saw my previous CarX video, you saw that I made my very own modded map in CarX. Now I did that using Blender and I saw that there was some interest in a tutorial on how exactly to do that. So today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to create a basic map in CarX. Now keep in mind, I am not a Blender expert. I barely know anything about this program. However, I can teach you to make your own basic map that you can at least have some fun on with your friends. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Blender. Like I said before, Blender is the software that I use to create the map. It is a free software, so all you have to do is head over to their website, blender.org, and just click the download button and you can download it. After you download Blender, you're going to need the CarX Mod Tools add-on. This is also free to download. All you gotta do is go to GitHub. I will leave a link to this as well as Blender down in the description. To download this, all you're gonna do is go to Git Code and click the download zip. Don't worry about extracting the zip file for now. We will get to that inside of Blender. All right, so you've downloaded and you've installed Blender. When you first open it up, this is what you're going to see. Now you can either click general or you can just click off and it's gonna open like this. The first thing I'm gonna do is go up here to edit, go down to preferences, click add-ons, then you're going to go over here to click install. And then you're just gonna look for that CarX tool that you just downloaded. For me, it goes to my downloads folder. You can see here, you're just gonna click that, highlight it, and then you're gonna go down here, click install add-on. Now I've already done this, so I am not gonna do it again. After you've clicked install, it's gonna look like this. Make sure that you have this box checked. If you don't have this checked, it's not gonna work. So let's make sure you have this checked. After you have that, you can close that out. So now that you have that installed, I'm gonna go over some basic blender functions as far as moving around, zooming in and out, and all that good stuff. Now, like I said before, I am not an expert at this at all. So there's probably better ways to do some of these things, but these are just the ways that I know and this time the ways I'm going to show you. So first off, if you look over here in the left corner, you will see that I have three little boxes right here. Now this is just representing my mouse. So you can see anytime that I do any kind of action on my keyboard or on my mouse, what have you, it's gonna show you right over there. So it makes it a lot easier for you to follow along. Let's go over just basic movement. How do you look around? So there's a couple ways. The first way, and this is the way that I like to do, to look around, you're going to click down on the scroll wheel on your mouse. You're gonna click it in and then drag your mouse. And that's how you're gonna look around the space. So let's say you, you're using a mouse pad, maybe you don't have a, a scroll wheel. You can also come up here to this little guy right here and you can move, you can click, left click, and then move your mouse around and you can move around that way. Now that you're looking around, how do you actually move? So all you're gonna do to move is Instead of just pressing the mouse wheel down and moving your mouse, you're also gonna click shift and then your mouse wheel, and then you can move around in the space. So if I wanted to move forward, we're gonna go like that, move the camera up, shift, middle click, and then we can move around that way. Once again, if you do not have a scroll wheel on your mouse, come over here to the right, you do have these nifty difty little icons here that can help you around. So you got this hand, you just click it, and then move your mouse around. And now if you want to zoom in, you're just gonna use your mouse wheel you just scroll it up or down, that'll zoom you in and out. Once again, if you do not have the mouse wheel, you can simply use magnifying glass icon over here and move your mouse forward and backwards. So now that we got the basic movement out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and start building our track. And I will kind of go over different shortcuts as we use them. And it's just gonna make it a lot easier that way instead of trying to explain them up front. So every time when you first open Blender, it's gonna have this cube, this, this light source and this camera. For our purposes of building the track, we're not gonna need any of these. So we're just gonna go over to the right, we're just gonna highlight them, and we're gonna press our delete key, and we're just gonna get rid of them just like that. So now we're working with a blank canvas. And to build the track, obviously you can see that this is a three-dimensional space, right? But to create the basic layout of our track to keep our track even and not having weird elevations and stuff like that, we're going to press seven on our numpad, and that is gonna give us the top-down view. If you do not have a numpad, all you gotta do is come up here and click the Z axis or Z axis, and that is going to put you looking direct up top. So to start our track, we're going to wanna to start with just a basic plain mesh. To do that, you're gonna click Shift A. That's gonna open up this menu here. You're gonna to go to Mesh and then click Plane. So if you look at this plane in the three-dimensional space, you'll see it, it is exactly as it says, it's just a plane. And this is what we're gonna to use to create our basic track. So I'm gonna go back to our top-down view. And the way it is now, it's very small. So what we're going to do is we're gonna scale this up. So we're going to press S and then drag our mouse. And we want this to be about 10 squares across. We're gonna press S, drag our mouse, and then click. 
and now we have a bigger plane that our car could fit on. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do to start building our track is we're just gonna go up here to the left and we're gonna click edit mode. And then we're gonna go right to the right of that. You see this little center selection here. You got this blue highlighted one. We're going one over and this is gonna be edge select. We're gonna click that. And what this is gonna do is it's going to allow us to select one of these edges of this plane. As you can see, the entire thing is highlighted right now. If I click off of it, the highlight goes away. Now that we have the edge select on, what we can do is we can just highlight this edge and it's just gonna highlight the edge. And so what that allows us to do is extend our road. So we're gonna press E on our keyboard. This is gonna be extrude and it's gonna allow us to take this edge of this plane and move it around like this to create our track. So if you wanna make it nice and straight, it's very simple. Just click on the center wheel of your mouse and it's going to allow you to lock it to this axis and stay straight. So I'm gonna go with a pretty long straightaway here. I'm gonna go about to right there. And you don't have to follow along exactly as I do. You can certainly be creative and make your own map and just go any kind of design that your heart feels. That's pretty simple to, to make the straightaway. How do we make the turns? So you're gonna go over here and collect this cursor and this is gonna allow you to pick a point of reference. And so let's say I'll go right here, lined up with the road and I'll put our cursor. And then we'll go over here, go down to our spin tool, click that. Make sure you guys have the edge selected still. If you don't have the edge selected, it's not gonna work. So with your edge selected, now you have your spin tool and you can make your turn. Now that cursor that we put before, that's gonna act as the center point of the circle wherever you put it. And that's gonna determine how tight your turn is, that's gonna determine where your turn's going, all that good stuff. So you see how we're making this turn and we kinda have, it's really jagged. It's not very smooth, right? Fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press N on our keyboard. We're gonna to go to tool over here on the right and it's going to show the active tool that we are currently using in Blender. Now you can see this has 12 steps. What that means is there's gonna be 12 steps in the turn. So if you want it to look a little bit more smooth, all we're gonna do is raise this number up and I want this to be probably about 60. Should probably be fine. You can kind of experiment with it and see what works best and kind of what you like. And I'm actually going to get rid of this because I don't like it. And now when I do the new one, you will see that it's gonna be much more smooth. Now, let's say if I want to go the other direction, kind of make a nice little curve this way and we'll curve back down this way. I like to line it up with the edges that I have selected. That way it kind of flows more smoothly out of it. And we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna use shift middle click again to move. And we'll make this a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna move the cursor a little bit further out, kind of where it's at now. Click our, select our spin tool again. And we're just gonna do the same thing here. And we're just kind of, just have fun with it, you know? It, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so you've made the track the way that you want it, but you still have this gap at the end. How do you connect it? Well, it's pretty simple. All you're going to do is highlight both of these edges, press F on your keyboard, and it will automatically connect it for you. So this is what we are working with. Now, like I said, this is just a basic tutorial how to, how to make a basic map. So there's no elevation, there's no bridges, no nothing like that. We're just keeping it very, very basic. But I think this is looking pretty good. I, I like this. Um, it's a pretty decent layout, I think. So we're gonna move to the next step, which we are going to create a plane and put it underneath it. That way there's ground, because if we just load this up in CarX the way it is now, it, you're gonna be floating in the sky. You know, you're not gonna have any ground. So we want it to be as, as nice as we can make it. So once again, seven on our numpad to look down or press the Z axis up here. So now we are back over here in object mode and we're going to create our plane. The shift A again, mesh plane. And you can't really see it, so we want it to be bigger. Obviously a track's not gonna fit on that, so press S on your keyboard and then just scale it up. We want it to be just a little bit larger than our track. Now to move things around in Blender, you're going to press, once you, when you have the object highlighted, you're gonna press G on your keyboard. That's gonna be your grab tool and you can move it around like this. So I am just going to center it right above. And now obviously we want this to be beneath our track. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go down this way. Once again, you can use your mouse wheel button to look around. We're gonna go over here and click the move tool and you can see it brings up these axis arrows. So you can use that to move them whatever direction. So we're gonna move this on the Z axis. We're just gonna move it down beneath the track. And you can kind of see that the track is just floating up above a little bit. So we want this to be 
kind of just right beneath it just like that and we want our track to have a little bit of depth otherwise it, you know it kind of just looks like a piece of paper right now so to do that what we're going to do is we are going to click on the object we're going to click on the track first and then we're going to go over here to the right we're going to go down to this wrench click on the wrench this is going to be your properties your modifier properties wrench we're going to click add a modifier and then we're going to click solidify so kind of move it into a position where you can see this way you can see that solidify if you go to thickness right here on the right you can move this whatever direction and this is going to change the thickness of your object since this is the ground i'm going to make this just a little bit thicker perfect just like that now i'm going to click on our track going to do the same thing once again go to the wrench go to add modifier then we're going to go to solidify and let's zoom in a little bit so we can see I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it nice and thick. You can see now that that goes right into that plane. So now we have a little bit of depth to our track. It's not just a drawing on a piece of paper anymore. It looks a little bit nicer now. At least it does in my opinion. So back to our top down view. The next thing we're going to want to do is add some textures. I mean, this looks very boring. There's, there's no color. There's no nothing. So we're going to add some textures. And to do that, once again, we're going to highlight the object that we want to put the texture on. Then we're going to go over here to the right. We're going to go down to this uh, little, like, almost looks like a ball icon right above the checkerboard. This is going to be material properties as well. Click on that. Then we're going to click new. You're going to scroll down and go to base color right here. And you're going to click this little yellow dot. And then you're going to go over to image texture. So after you've chosen image texture, you're going to need to have an image that you want to use for your texture. You can go to Google and type that in, whether it's asphalt, grass, dirt, whatever you want. You can search that, download that image, and then you can go to open and then open it and it's going to place it on your thing. So for me, I chose grass. Now, once you first do that, you're not gonna see anything. You're gonna have to go up here to the right and you're gonna go one over. You can see that we have this full highlighted. We're gonna go one over to the viewport shading, click that, and then you can see what your texture is. This is gonna show you what it actually looks like. So as you can see, I chose grass. Uh, you can choose whatever texture you want. I just chose grass for our base texture of the bottom of the map. Now that we have the texture for our bottom plane, we're gonna add some texture to our map. Now I have some asphalt, and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing that we did for the bottom plane. All right, so as you can see, I chose an asphalt texture. Now it does kind of do this weird thing where it's kind of stretched out. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to fix it. But once again, for all intents and purposes of a beginner basic map, we're just gonna leave it just like that. It does give us a difference between the ground and the road. Now that we have our textures, let's change some of the physics a little bit because we want the asphalt to behave like asphalt. We want the dirt to behave like dirt. So to do this, press in on your keyboard. This is gonna open up your menu over here. Go down to CarX Mod Tools. After you open this up, you're going to select the object that you want. As you can see, we do have the track selected and I'm just gonna click asphalt. This is gonna make that object behave as asphalt in the game. So now I wanna change the bottom plane. I'm gonna highlight the bottom plane obviously i put a grass texture so i'm gonna go over here and click grass now you could choose snow gravel dirt icy road sand curb whatever you want and it's going to behave like that so the next thing that we are going to want to do before we load up this map is choose a part of the map that you want to be your starting point now it's important to note that whenever you do start in the map your car is going to be facing north with the direction of the y-axis so go over here to your cursor i like to place it over the map and then after you do that go over to the right back into your car x mod tools and you get got create placeholders we're going to create our spawn that's going to load the spawn right up on there and I, I like to place the spawn a little bit higher just because sometimes it seems like it messes up a little bit so go over here to your move tool grab your z-axis and i'm just going to place it up a little bit high uh, just because I, I find that it sometimes works a little easier that way whenever you load it into the game all right so you have your basic map completed you got your textures you got your spawn point all that good stuff now how do we load it into the game so you're going to go over here and you're going to want to create your file path so to do that, you're going to have to go into the folder where you have all your maps for CarX. If you are not familiar with how to load up maps in CarX using Kinomod, check out my YouTube channel. I do have a video going over that. So in your maps folder that you have for the game, you're going to right click and create a new folder and just call this, you know, whatever you want to call the map. We're going to call this map tutorial, make it real simple. And now we have that after you have that, you're gonna go back to your CarX tool add-on here in Blender and then name your map, whatever you wanna name it. Once again, we're gonna do map tutorial. 
just to make it easy and then choose the file path where you want it to load. So you're gonna click this little folder icon. You're gonna to go to that folder that you just created inside of your maps folder for CarX. So this is the map tutorial. I'll click that, select export folder, and we're just gonna export it right in there. You can see the path is now on there. And then you're simply just gonna press export map. All right, so you've exported your map that you just created. All you're gonna do is load up CarX and then launch the map the same way you would any other modded map. I like to go to parking A and training, just go to wherever you like to go. Press F4, open up Kinomon, go to maps, go over here to load your map, and you can see that we have map tutorial right here. Click that, it's gonna load up, and bam, there you go. This is the map that we just created. You can see that we are actually facing the other direction of our map. May have got it backwards potentially. But yeah, this is the map that we just created. And I actually like the way that this one turned out. So here you can see this is the map that we just created. Man, this is so cool. So I hope that this tutorial helped you. If it did, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Like I said, this is just a basic map. Obviously, this is nothing fancy. We got the most basic grass texture and some ridiculously stretched out asphalt texture. It's certainly not the best, uh, but this, you can definitely have some fun with your friends and just create some custom maps that you guys can play on. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.